I also would like to tell you about the fact that when you take different types of antibiotics, the antibiotics are killing at the same time the bad bacteria, which is good for you because you want to get rid of something, but also is taking away the good bacteria. And once the good bacteria is taken away from the gut flora that you have, is the one that really protects your stomach of all the acidity and everything else, uh, it becomes very weak and is nothing to protect the entire flora. So if your flora is not protected in your stomach, it becomes almost like a, when you peel your skin and you touch it or you burn yourself, it's very sensitive. And that's how you create an inflammation. If you have an inflammation in the body, that means that it's becoming um, mycotoxins again, and again you become sick. Imagine if you inflame for a long time, this particular organ after a while will completely deteriorate. So in order for you to complete all that, you really cannot replace these probiotics that you actually got rid of through the antibiotics. The only way to get back to it is through probiotics that you can take um, in a daily basis, which is called the VSL number three, and you can get that from Costco. Um, it's not covered by insurance, uh, but you can take it, and I will make a particular for that a video how you can uh, use it, and you must use only distilled water with it. Keep in mind that if you take antibiotics, you have to take this at least two and a half hours later because you don't want the antibiotic to kill also the good bacteria. It has to be just products. It has to be from the refrigerator. Cannot be over the counter because it's dead. And if somebody tells you the dairy product and uh, cheese uh, you can take uh, for probiotics, I would say no because dairy products and cheese products is actually um, very toxic uh, for the gut flora when you want to completely detox yourself. So I would say from dairy product if you have a gastrointestinal problems. This is about the VSL, the probiotics. And I want to show you how I use it. It's very important for you to use it on a daily basis, especially if you detox or have a gastrointestinal problems. Remember not to use any dairy products uh, because they will irritate your stomach. Um, I usually use distilled water. Because distilled water is clean, and if it's any, if it's a regular water, whatever the products are in a regular water that they put in, it will interfere with your probiotics because it's a live bacteria, and that's what it looks like. It's like a little packet packages, and if you're really in pain and you have a gastrointestinal issue, so detox usually do two to three times a day. I usually do once a day, or maybe. I buy a couple of months, one pack, and I use it. Uh, you pour the water, the distilled water, into the glass. And I pour like a half a cup. It's okay for you. Again, look at it. VSL number three. And you can find this in Costco. It's the cheapest in Costco. So I shake it a bit. And I, it's like a powder. I like the powder. I would buy it in a powder. And I just simply stir it and tears. Delish. Thank you for watching.